was uh, I was I was listening to the show this morning, yeah. and uh, it seemed like you had some some cramming to do, some power prep. And partner, I've been there all the time before. Yeah. How, was, how was your power prep? Session? My, uh, you know, I guess we'll find out together how the power prep went. Uh, not the most confident, but I feel yeah. like I'm in good hands with you guys today. Yeah. You know. Well, the good thing is. You don't have to immediately identify the players or have the verbiage of what the play is right away. I, that's, yeah. Ideally, I'm doing that at a satisfactory level. Okay. And then you can then you can chime in or whatever, whenever you feel. With here's, whatever here's, analysis you're bringing here's to the what table. I was thinking. Yeah. Tell me what you think of this idea. Okay. What, what kind of delay are we on? <laughs> well, I was testing before. Not maybe where a we 30 can hit the, the dump button. I don't know, maybe a 30 second delay. It might be 30. I'm not worried about the delay as much, like the cursing, as much as I'm thinking. And I have a proposition for you guys if we all promise to be on our best behavior okay. and not curse. Yes. Here's my idea. We sure. can kind of let the play happen and then call the plays a play behind. And then we can almost like predict, like, hey, what do you think we're going to do here? You know what I mean? Call the replay off the scoreboard. Well, there you go. That's what do you think of that idea? And then we'll look like geniuses and we know what exactly is going to happen before it happens because it already did, in fact, happen. It seems like that wouldn't be quite honest with the listeners. Well, but I'm all for it. Okay. <laughs> I can do my best Tony Romo impression. Yeah. That's that what way. I'm thinking. Would, Tony the, Romo's always right about what's going to happen. Right. Here. He's never wrong. But Are you going to try that today? Are you going to try to predict predict the play, like, real time at some point? So here's the thing, right, is that I don't exactly know what is expected of me today, right? Yeah, I don't I don't know either, Parker. Yeah. I, I don't know where this me is either. going. But you've told me that you want me to come back, I think, in two weeks to do this. So yes. I'm trying to not blow it on this one. You know what I mean? It, so I maybe this it would one... take a lot, but... Maybe it is possible. Yeah, so yeah. I want to be a little more conservative today, maybe, you know? And then next time, blow it. I think I could do all right. I was walking down asking the guys how they were feeling about today. What did they tell you? They were positive. They think they're going to win. Did, you, you, that did you get it? Okay, I was going to say, did you get some good information out of that? Were, were they just like, we feel good? Well, the question is, how are we feeling, boys? And they said, feeling good. Defense, that That is yeah. in-depth sideline. Well, then I asked, do you think we're going to get that dub today? Yes. And they said yes. They also said yes. Yes. So that is that is the answer they should be saying. Yeah. It's a very nice-looking field. The 305 is kind of massive on the field. It and uh, there's a Rolls-Royce on the field as well as a Lamborghini. That is a... Which I've not seen before on a college addition. football uh, sideline. We may be the first. Did uh, they move them? I hope they didn't. I don't see them. I don't see them now. Uh, are we gonna, are we really I thought they were still there. Ooh, is maybe. the Lambo going to lead the team out onto the field? I was just thinking maybe Coach Mack drives out onto the field. That's what Lambo. I've heard. That At Georgia Tech, amazing. they do it. They, they bring the old school vehicle out, right? At Georgia they, Tech. They yeah, the random wreck. You got the Sooner Schooner, right? The... Uh, the wagon. I want Mac to drive out. I kind of out. do also, but I also see a situation. It was raining a lot where we then mess up the field and have a lengthy delay yeah. because of a Lamborghini, which would be incredible. Look, we, we should make headlines with this. I, I, I think it should be a possibility to be in the corner of an end zone I, because I recall the 2017 Bad Boy Mowers Gasparilla Bowl. Rest in peace, because that's that's no longer the sponsor. I don't know, I don't know why. And beautiful St. Pete. Money, probably. And of, of course, there was a Bad Boy Mower. Yeah. In this in the corner, the end. Roddy Jones was did a live shot on it. It was fantastic. Remember when they used to have the mower racing before the Bad Boy Mowers? Bowl? We won that. Yeah. We won. Alex yeah. Magoo's brother Shane, and they stormed they stormed the Bush Gardens little field. They yeah. did that. It, it was awesome. It was fantastic entertainment. We're rolling along on the FIU football pregame shows so we got the uh we got the instagram live going billy kill say hello hello there we go, there we go. i have some great news for you this is, uh patrick murray here we got taylor in the back he's ready for the carolina miami game this weekend you say you have breaking news yeah they are oh. going to be going with their fourth string, string, fourth quarterback. string quarterback yeah i hear that their quarterback is going to be making his debut tonight well that's a that's a great job hey. well done already breaking right. news here early I could be wrong, though. Don't oh, me. oh, I thought that was confirmed. Well, I overheard the radio broadcast saying it. Well, Taylor didn't. He told oh, me. Yeah, oh, so okay. reporting. That's that's really well done. By the way, I want to give a shout-out to uh, Zep Vayu takes the field. 
Billy, what are what are you looking for tonight? Ooh, keys to the game. Keys to the game. I Do you, you have were any? Never gonna ask. Do you have yeah. any keys? I think the FIU Panthers need to keep their nose to the grindstone. You know what I mean? Keep the blinders on. Yes. Keep chopping. Keep working. Keep their foot on the gas because this is a team that's gotten off to a quick start almost every game in the first half. Yeah. Build a comfy lead and then they come out at halftime and they look like a different team for whatever reason. Especially the fourth quarter. That's not good. It's weird. It's winning time. Mm -hmm. It's become losing time. We don't want that. Well, too soon. Come on, man. <laughs> You want to be driving a Lambo tonight, not yes. a pickup truck. I'm a FIU, little right? disappointed that I, the Lambos, I can't see from our position if they're on the field or not. We were hoping that uh, Coach McIntyre would drive out and leave the team on the field with one, uh, but they opted not to do that. The, the goal is for someone to score a touchdown and then hop into Lambo. That would probably draw a flag, Yeah, but it would, th that it would, would be, be worth it. it. Would it? I it mean, would. If, if one of the cars got damaged, it would probably be funny, too. I, there would probably be implications to that, but it, it would be it would be funny. On national TV tonight on, on ESPN2, you got to make some headlines. Who knows what's going to happen? Let's have some fun here today. Billy, you had one key to the game. Keep, uh, keep the nose to the grindstone. That's right. Is there anything else you wanted to offer? No. Okay. No worries. Sounds good. Nose to the grindstone. That's did applicable did, right here. Got yeah, to keep grinding on, on this drive. Pat gets it. Can I call you Pat? Yeah. Sure. Okay, great. <laughs> the chemistry is already <laughs> flowing. Things are going poorly. It could be going better. Yeah. What did you play? In, in eight, you played football in eighth grade, right? I, uh, I was a, a wide receiver. You were a wide receiver. I was like eighth string. Then they put me in a cornerback for a game where I never practiced. How did that go? Uh, poorly. Yeah. I was in on one play, and we gave up a touchdown, like an 80-yard touchdown. It's not a good feeling. O.J. Simpson was at the game. That's random. His son was playing against us. Okay, there's context. That's yeah. what we were looking for. Uh, second and two. Did you talk to O.J.? We took a picture with him. <laughs> second and two, handoff. I have a new key to the game, if you'd like it. What do you got? I would. Plug the holes. Plug the holes. Mm -hmm. There you go. So we got nose to the grindstone and plug the holes. Keep the blinders on, too. Blinders on. on. Blinders. And Put to the gas. Keep it on the gas. Put to the gas. What we need. That's for later, though. That's for later, yeah. Yeah. We'll get to that. Uh, first and goal here at the four yard line. Another carry. Hankins lowering the shoulder. And at the goal line. Did he Stop get in on the second? Short. We're going to mark him short. Second and goal coming up. I thought Hankins might have got across, but FIU met him well. So You've got to look for the officials when they have the hand up. That's where they're spotting the ball, yeah. <laughs> They toss up the two hands. That's a touchdown. That is, <laughs> that is the Key general course there. of action. You're going to teach him here, Pat. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching that near side of it. He was sprinting pretty fast. And no uh, no touchdown just yet for Utah. Ten on the play clock. McConnell in the gun. Hankins to his right. Surely keep it on the ground here. Hankins. Cumberland forward and got through. Manuel made contact at the one. The Hankins able to fall forward. Tough start here defensively for the Panthers. Six nothing Utah on a 75 yard six minute drive to make it six nothing. Hankins is just tough to take down. I mean, he's, he's a grinder. And FIU is going to have to keep their nose to the grindstone to, to be able to tackle mm -hmm. him. Yes. You know? They did not have their blinders on there. No. Didn't plug the hole. Didn't plug the hole. Got to be better. Will it's be better. It's early still, guys. Very early. I lose faith here. One more Texas win here at home. It's a quick scoring drive for the Mean Green to start the game. BAT from Buzz Flaviano is through the uprights because they put both their hands up. Yeah. So that means that means the field goal. Buzz is, good. is probably BAT. not the given name, correct? That's what they put on the roster. Mm. Panthers. Looking to put the foot on the gas. Billy's offensive key here today. They're going to air it out here. And they have Bracey in motion. It's a play fake. Now they go to Bracey near side. Has a blocker in Patterson. Bracey across the 40 and shoved out at the 50-yard line. He called it. Not exactly airing it out, but I'll take it. <laughs> he called it, then it was a pass. Yeah, you know. The 50-50 shot. Gonna really get into the details. They could have punted it on second down. It's not a common practice, no. but that might have a been possibility. more questioned than a play last Saturday in Miami. Too soon, AJ. <laughs> Too soon. Oh, no. Oh, no. I waited till the 7.57 mark. Second down again. I don't see the punt formation coming out. No. No. I don't know if we're going to see that on second down. Probably today. won't see one tonight, yeah. but you never know. 
I want I want Coach Mack to go for it, but I, I doubt that's going to happen here. On mm. Fourth and six. Fourth down. Now it looks like punting units coming out here. It's more common to punt on fourth down, AJ. Than second. Yeah. Saying. Right. Right. We're learning a lot today. Yeah. Well, I've learned that two hands in the air means touchdown. That's true. Yes. Correct. Not everybody knows. There's some beginners listening tonight. I know? think I think Billy's selling himself short here a little bit. I think he's trying to give basic analysis to hide the brilliance. Mm. Montiel to punt. End over end towards the near sideline. It's going to bounce at the 14. Ooh, nice bounce. Nah, huh? No, no, it went to the end zone. Hate to see that. 6.54 to play in the first. Yeah, he knocks that through. Hmm. Concerning start, pal. Yeah. No. Could Am I your pal? Was that directed towards me or Patricio? You. Oh, yeah. Okay. yeah. Not expecting that. Start. Yeah. Not, not yeah. expecting that from a fourth stringer. Nope. Hate to see that. Um, well, we'll see if uh, Kiwan can bounce back here and eat some points. Uh T-shirt toss is complete. We almost got one, but the... It hit this damn window. window. Sorry, I shouldn't oh, have said that. Oh, gosh, we're screwed now. Uh, Bracey at the 10. Got to the 25. Decent blocking. To I apologize. <laughs> I don't think that's an FCC one. I think we're good. I learned doing a minor uh, sprint training Marlins game. They didn't like that one, so I'm sorry. Oh, that, oh that's right. They're nice shirts. They're Vice U shirts. They are Vice U. Where do you get those? I are think those, those were the $10 ones in the bookstore that ah, sold out very quickly. Okay. Yes. Can't pull some strings over here, AJ. We can, we can try to make things happen. So you think Joe Buck has a drinking problem, you were saying? That's that's not what I said. No. I said if, if Joe can have a cold one before a broadcast, oh. if I'm in a broadcast and we're losing my two touchdowns in the first quarter, well, that's during the broadcast, though. That's not as cool. You're no Joe Buck. I am no Joe Buck. <laughs> my friends remind me of that all the time. Hey, FIU's <laughs> offense is capable of putting up 21 points in a yeah. quarter. Mm. I've done it before. I like the optimism. <laughs> Buzz Flaviano. Yeah, Buzz is back. We're seeing Buzz too much right now. <laughs> Gotta get in the end zone, though. David Sampson is not in this chat, guys. Sorry. Oh, On Instagram, nice. people are asking. We'd love to have him, though. Another carry. Kijan Owens. We're not gonna. We're not gonna go. It's the whole place where we're like, is it bad luck? Is it bad luck bringing Billy on the broadcast. Wow. We're not gonna go there. Okay. We're, we're not gonna do gonna, that at all. I thought you were gonna go with the vice jerseys. Yeah. I thought it was gonna be the vice jerseys. We're not. Or... I'm saying we're not gonna go there. Okay. 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 If anyone okay. wants to go there, I'm saying we're not. Wow. We're not. Okay. It's only the first quarter. Right. I mean, UTEP's on pace to score 84 right now. So. Is this a Bishop Sycamore situation? Where exactly is UTEP from? Uh, a commenter asked. Oh, El Paso. El Paso. El Paso. Come on now. El Paso. It's actually a beautiful campus. For the mountains at the Sun Bowl. Hmm. UTEP can take another shot. I would take another shot if I were yeah, UTEP. Yeah, I would. I would too. Keep doing it until they stop you, right? Does that bring back bad memories as a cornerback when you see that? Well, the touchdown was scored on the opposite side of the field. Yes. So I did run across the field. I got within five yards. And then right. in film study the next day, I got a talking to because I stopped running at the 10-yard line. They don't like that. Running. No, you they didn't running. like it, but it wasn't. I didn't get burned. <laughs> was a kid named Logan. Talk to Logan, yeah. coach, not me. It's Logan's fault. Mm -hmm. McConnell, play action, scrambles. Minor setback for a major comeback. 21 nothing, exactly where we want them. These are the motivational messages pouring in as FIU finds itself in a three touchdown hole. Gl you, glad to have you with us on the FIU Football Radio Network. AJ Ricketts, Patrick Murray, Billy Gill. Yeah, Billy? Did you, did you say minor setback intentionally, or was that just a coincidence? They're the minors. That is, see that play on words there? Yeah. No, that's Joe Buck level <laughs> stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. you'll get there. <laughs> All right, first quarter impressions here. Give me your analysis. Give me your thoughts. Uh, you got to stop them. Something they haven't been able to do so far. 
Even on third and 11 with the fifth string quarterback that you tell me is the second string quarterback. Right. Yes. There it is. Still got like a 30 yard reception. Digging in. That's what we want to hear. That'd yeah. be helpful. A stop would be Plug helpful. Plug the holes. Plug the holes. Not doing that nope. at the moment. Plenty of time left. Some things to get better for FIU's fortunes and Taylor's as well behind us. Yeah. If anything, they need to do it for him. Wide out, split out on either side. UTEP didn't like something they saw. We'll call a timeout here. They have three of those. They do. And now they, they have, have two. two. Yeah. Yes. But with a 21 nothing lead, not too concerned about their timeouts. For a charity softball game. It did not go well <laughs> for me. Thank you, AJ, for bringing that not, up. Not you, for Chris. It uh, it went very poorly for me. I'll tell oh, you that. Okay. Yeah. You oh, for three. Day. Yeah. I was trying to get cute, hit the ball opposite field. Wasn't working out. It's been years since I played. Here's the thing about aging. It's terrible. Yeah. That's... Last time I played softball, I pulled my hamstring, <laughs> and I haven't played since. Yeah. How old are you? 35. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> you yeah. guys are making me scared here. Well. Entered Club 30 as well. How old are you? 29? Yeah, we'll call it, we'll call it 29. <laughs> are you 30? How old are you? 30. Okay. Maybe say that out loud. Don't feel bad. Yeah. I'm 36. 30s are a great decade, right? Well, look at my body. Yeah. It's been very bad. That's a pole vault body. This is not a pole vault. <laughs> they Second. do not make poles for this weight. Second and nine. <laughs> Hankins outside. Sheds a tackle. And, and UTEP's going to take another timeout here on fourth and six. Down to one. <laughs> that is correct. Had some people with uh, some, body, some, some support for you. They say you look great. Hashtag dad bod. That's not a compliment. They said they needed to let you bunt to the softball game, which I feel goes against the spirit of things. Yes. Right? It's like trying too hard, right? Poor form. Poor form. Um, that needs to be on a shirt. Quote, they don't make poles for this weight. <laughs> I don't think a lot of people would understand the context of that. No. <laughs> I don't think so. That'll put FIU at the 20-yard line. Well, they made a stop. Start of the comeback. Can't come back from 21 nothing if you don't go down by 21. Got to get stops. I don't understand that analogy at all. Minor setback. Major comeback. M-I-N-E-R. M-I-N-E-R. So it makes the big bucks. 21 nothing, Utah. After a gain of four yards, um, Cody would like you to break down. Oh, extracurricular uh -oh, activities. Oh, no, no, that'll be a flag. That's a penalty. Is it? Oh, no. They, they did throw the flag. Jamal okay. Potts shoved a lineman. And that's that's probably the loudest the FIU crowd has gotten all night. You know what? Sometimes you need that to get right back into this. Ah. Maybe that might fire him up. I, I can't believe they didn't throw a flag it's on shocking. that. It's mean, shocking. Justin <laughs> Mayers was, was going at it with Jamal Potts, and Mayers kind of got on top of him. Potts gets up and just hammers and shoves him straight to the ground. Always I've, never, I've never seen that kind of physicality off after a play not be called a flag. Right in front of three officials. It's rare that they allow <laughs> players to flip each other after <laughs> plays are done, but it's vice night. Yeah, vice got, night. Anything I, goes. Yeah. <laughs> All bets are off. Did you guys this is have a cage it? match inside the cage. Ooh, no nice, holds bar. Nice one. I like yeah. that. That's better nice than the one. minor situation that <laughs> yeah, you did before. Well, it's, yeah. a, it's a home play on words yeah. rather than the road team. Mm -hmm. High formation here. Hey, what's your analysis of the guard play today? You know, could be better. Great. <laughs> Net, FIU first down yardage. Jalen Bracey, great second effort. I was going to say great second effort yes. as soon as you finished talking, great but lines. you got to it. Think yeah. alike. Drats. You see this in the game, though? So UTEP's looking for its first win in the state of Florida. I did. Is that correct? Yeah. Ever? Yeah, they've Ever. They lost at UCF, at FAU. They recently had their first win in the Eastern time zone. Really? That's, that, that, that seems unlikely. Yeah. I don't know huh. what to make of that game note. Patrick thinks you're lying. <laughs> I'm going to double check the game notes. He's been playing that. football a long time. Yeah. Surely they've Surely. had a broadcaster broadcast somebody. 500 games. Many teams, AJ, in the Eastern time zone. Seems impossible. It seems implausible. 
Okay. Listen, you can go through that whole packet. I guarantee you I'm okay. not going to read it, so just say you found Searching it. for its first win in the Sunshine State. Yeah. They're 0-2 at FIU, 0-2 at FAU, 0-2 at UCF, and 0-1 at South Florida. Oh, a triumph would also mark the Orange and Blue's second win in program history in the Eastern Time Zone. I found it. So wow. you were wrong. Because it would not be their first. It would be their second. Yeah. Which is still... That's, it's still that's mind unbelievable to me. Does he yeah. always like this, Patrick? <laughs> Just throwing out awesome stats? <laughs> yeah. Throwing out made-up awesome. information. Yes. I'm so awesome. <laughs> this is not the Sun Bowl. This is the cage. They're going to feel that now. Mm. 21-0. What does that mean? I think like that. They're playing the Sun Bowl. Yeah. yeah. They're here at the cage. What now they're going to start, gonna start to feel the, the, the fans. Got it. The students. Hand off. Owens. Nearly broke two tackles. Down to the 10. Owens with the carry. Keep feeding Owens. Yeah. He's running, running hard. He's breaking tackles. Keep feeding him. I'll tell you what, if they score here, they're only going to be down two touchdowns. You're, you're really good with that math, man. Uh, timeouts, score. This is invaluable. Seven, some signs of life here from the Panthers. What was the most impressive aspect of that drive for you, Billy Gill? They were able to successfully move the ball. They kept going back to them over and over again. And you know what? If it ain't broke, don't, don't fix, fix it. it. See? Don't fix it. Nice. They get another nice. stop here or two, and then they get the ball at the half. I feel like things are headed in the right direction. We said it after the first quarter. Have them right where we want. Them. Yeah. Exactly where we want. Them. I suppose. Let's get that on the camera. It was Vice Night, so I had it's to. It's Vice Night. There you go. Kind of Tennis it. socks. You're not wearing socks. I'm not wearing socks. Okay. That's the choice. The Vice look, right? I don't know. I was told not to wear socks with these pants. Who told you that? Uh, my independent contractor, fashion designer, fashion fashion consultant, not designer. I'm a fashion consultant. Are you following any of this? No. Okay, good. <laughs> You're on your own here. You need a fashion consultant for radio broadcasts. <laughs> it's important how you look. <laughs> flag late after the play. FIU's clapping. This may be unsportsmanlike on UTEP. I think. I, I hope. We're not supposed to be rooting one way or the other, AJ. Impartial. We know we, we can be a little on radio on this one. Yeah. You can. E plus. I've got to go neutral. Gotcha. Hey, this is the key part of the game. I've got a Bill Belichick stat for you. He loves the middle eight minutes, right? The last four minutes of the second quarter, the first four minutes of the third quarter. The team that scores the most points in those middle eight minutes wins the game 75% of the time in FBS football. Okay. So here, here's the key part of the game right here. Patriots have lost 100% of the last two games. Burgess. Wow. <laughs> I'm still Ouch. bitter about the well, 0-1 Super Bowl. They lost those middle eight, you know? <laughs> yeah. They, they lost all eight quarters. Yeah. For those of you who are wondering about the uh, long snapper situation for the Miners, their backup is warming up here on the sideline, Josh Hancock. This is great reporting. Good to know that, that they have the backup long snapper on not hand. not conditioned to look for the long snapper. Third and one, though. At the 23. We need a cool Tuesday. name. We need a cool name for Conference USA because you, you got yes. Maction. You got... The Fun Belt, they, they play some midweek games in the Sun Belt. They call yeah. it the Fun Belt. We got to come up with a cool name for Conference USA. I don't have one. I don't. I'm going to work on huh. it. Okay. A little bit of homework for everybody yes. out there. Yes. I just saw someone give a thumbs down on your uh, live stream. What was that about? Wow. Giant thumbs. It's because I'm no Joe Buck, thumbs and they expect down, a Joe Buck. There, yeah. Wow. Tell you what, though, here's the thing about playing on Wednesday. The Goodyear blimp is here, where it probably wouldn't be if this was a Saturday game. It's huge. Second and six. It's Burgess with another carry. Into the backfield is Donovan Manuel. <laughs> you having a good time? I've had better. What are your impressions of, of your performance here? I, you know. How are you feeling? I would say. In uh, a flow state right now? 
I, I, like a C at best, I would say. Okay. I haven't brought my A game. I'm not going to say that this is all because of my performance, but I haven't been bringing it. I'm sorry. I apologize to both of you. I think, I think FIU could help the cause. Well, you know. but I'm not a... Hey, we is greater than me, am I right? We is greater than me. I don't know what that has to do with this situation, but... It's what Mike McIntyre says, and he's our king. Yeah. How do we feel about Mike McIntyre? He, he brings back programs from the dead. That's what he does. I'm. He's the fixer. I, I want them to do well, obviously. I want them to win this game. Yeah. Uh, because I want them to, you know, make it to a bowl game potentially. This could be their, what, fourth win. They need two more to be bowl eligible. That's a big deal. But uh, also, Mike seems to really be impacted by these losses. Last week, he was on the sideline, and I was concerned for his health. <laughs> he does look really Serious. Yeah. I mean, these guys put a lot of time all week long, all the film sessions, the travel. The all year long, you only get 12 opportunities. Yeah. You know, they lose one in heartbreaking fashion. Probably not going to look too perky on the sideline, right? You know that uh, Mike McDaniel's <laughs> name is George? You will replicate this stuff, okay? <laughs> I did not know that. No, you did not know that? No, I didn't. Yeah, George Michael McIntyre. Why did? Wait, did you? Did he say Mike? He said Mike McDaniel. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I got that wrong. Okay. okay. So, so that's more. Yeah, yeah. So did you know that? that he has a, uh, the nephew George, the, uh, yeah, the big time quarterback yeah. uh, recruit. I was confused by the pivot there, to, but I liked it. Yeah. I, I actually really liked that. It I, was a flub. I wish it, Mike McDaniel's name was George. Well, did you know that Mike McIntyre's name is George? I think I knew that in my uh, archives, but I forgot. Yeah, George really. Michael. Mike Bluth. George is George Michael Blue is a five-star prospect. I think. Right, yeah. right. I don't know how much I can talk about. How can, can you talk about recruits? No, they're not committed, right? Uh, I don't know how that works. We we can. The we coaches can. can. The coaches can. Yeah. Big time uh, player. Put us in his top ten. That's he was good. supposed to commit the other the other day. I'd, uh, I'm gonna have to look it up now. Uh, well, yeah. he, he released his top. He's down to his top ten schools. He's a sophomore, I think. So, I mean, what he does now doesn't really matter all that much because he can just change his mind. But I think he's what? He's the second best quarterback prospect out of Tennessee. So am I right yes. about that? Big time player in Tennessee. And he uh, he's come down to his final 10 decisions. Lots of SEC schools, prominent football programs, and FIU is on that list. He's here tonight. We're going to land on the game. Why don't we bring him up to the booth? Taylor, go find him. That, I think, is actually a violation. I think it would be. Okay. I think it would be. Well, I think that one is specifically written in the bylaws. Okay. Well, then let's not do that. I mean, we could make headlines. Yeah, he has not committed yet. He's, he just released his top ten. I saw that FIU also offered him a basketball scholarship. So let's have him play both. Yeah. Uh, third and eight. That Jack Daly, the big 315-pounder. Just shoving an old lineman back, five yards back into the backfield. Wonder why they didn't use a timeout there. Just letting the clock run. Yeah, I would have, I would have taken one. Let's see if George McDaniel tries to get a field goal block here. Okay. But they don't have any left. That was their, They do not have any timeouts left. <laughs> that explains it. Worried about Utah icing their own kicker there. I don't think he was prepared. I think he knew it was coming. <clears throat> you hope that Mike McIntyre, George, as some call him, can land his own nephew, right? Can't land family. Who can you that's, land? <laughs> that's a tough ask. <laughs> that was on Buzz. So Buzz got, got a little cocky. A little, a little uh, bit too much celebrating from the kicker. And not uh, not quite do? as much as the Colorado kicker. What would you do if you were the coach in that situation and your kicker made the field goal but then got a 15-yard penalty? I mean, Are you with, upset? with a minute left in the half, it's not a nothing penalty, right? Because FIU is going to get the, the ball back to start the second half. So you're, 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 you're upset. You're some field position. Yeah. You're ticked off. You, well, you you very well could put them in field goal range. They don't have any timeouts left. Are you, you, are you in his grill? Yards. Are you yelling in his face? Or no. Do you kind of give him the silent treatment in that situation? I probably wouldn't talk to him for a month. For a month. <laughs> I'm very passive-aggressive. That seems over overkill. Like, overkill. Probably. He'll probably resent you for that, then. Well. College, college guys. Emotion. Patrick, what will you do? He'd get, a, he'd get a talking to. He'd get a talking to. Get a little bit stern of a talking talk to. Stern. Yes. Yeah. You're not mad. You're just disappointed. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm you disappointed. grab him by the collar. 
There's, People don't like be, that in There'd be no like physicality that. involved. Okay, that would go viral no, very good, involved. Patrick. Just a, just a so certain you, would, you would grab him. I would not. I'm oh, just checking oh, to make sure Patrick checking. is, you know, okay. following uh, things properly. Who, who did that? Woody Hayes back in the day? What, what did he do? There's the Ohio State coach? No, that was a punch. You get the punch. Yeah. You got fired. Well, don't punch your players, There's, no. for sure. Yeah. There's been a few. That's Even back then, uh -huh. that wasn't good. This is fielded at the 16 by Jalen Bracey, looking for a seam. Spins off the first tackle. And out nearly to the 40 yard line. So this sets Ooh. FIU up with a very doable final drive here. Plus 50 15. Seconds. Yeah. 15. That was an hit. Oh, I thought it was assessed after the uh, return. Free kick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they had to kick, kick it from, from 20. 20. Yeah, ignore me. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. hit the 37. You got to be going for the end zone here, though. Field goal is not going to do you a whole lot of good. First and 10, man, 37. Did you have a nice little walk out there? Got a walk around the concourse? Got some steps Social. in, yeah. yeah. Talking to Patrick about parenting just now, headed back from the break. When are you going to have kids, AJ? <laughs> Great question. My parents are asking me that, too. Do they really <laughs> feel pressured? No, they're, they jokingly, they jokingly you know, You're young. bring up Tom. You're young still. Yeah, yeah, I got time. 30, 30, uh, just crossed the threshold of 30. But uh, we'll see here. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. That doesn't answer your question. No. You know, but, you know, it's kind of a vague run around that inquiry. Yeah. That's what I do with the parents, too. It's like, eh, well, we'll see. Thanksgiving's coming up, Thanksgiving. so lots of yeah. awkward questions then, I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> I got to gear up. I got to gear up now. We'll have a, a great time at the Thanksgiving table. What, what are you doing for Thanksgiving? It's next month. I uh, haven't given it much thought, to be honest with you. I'll probably just go to family somewhere. Yeah. I don't know. We'll be right before the FIU Bowl game. A couple weeks before, right? That's true. That's what yeah. we're saying. Manifesting. Where are we looking to go this year? Well, the Cure Bowl. The Cure Bowl is here. The representatives. Okay. The Cure Bowl. Well. Checking us out. That's in Orlando, right? Right. The Hula Bowl was at our last home game. The Hula Bowl? Isn't the Hula Hawaii. Bowl uh, uh, an all-star game? Oh, that's not the Hawaii Bowl. I think it Bowl. is. A, no. Uh, and that's not the one Hawaii that Bowl would wow. be awesome, though. Yeah. That's right. The Hula Bowl is a different thing, right? Okay. Okay. So well, now I don't feel as dumb about my timeout situation. I think the Hula Bowl would fool a lot of folks. I think it used to be a real bowl game. Yes. But, no, uh, but now it's an all -star Coming game. to my rescue. We'll yeah. be back in two minutes for the start of the second half. 24-7 our score. The Hula Bowl, not in Honolulu. Back after this on the FIU Football Radio Network. And Billy Gill of the Dan Levitard Show. Just about set to uh, kick off the second half. What time do you have to be in to work tomorrow? What time do you guys get started? Uh, 8.15-ish. So oh, that's not, not terrible. Not very early. Do you, set, do you set your alarm on the stove like Witty? No, I set multiple alarms <laughs> on my phone. I, I have a yeah. good, like, eight alarm set on my phone. Like, five <laughs> that's minutes apart that's how I, yeah, I'm with you. Starting at, like, 5.30, so... Uh, great comment. Cody's, Cody's bringing great content here. Have we checked on the bubble ball victims? No, we haven't. I assume they're at Baptist right now. The emergency room. And Jenkins gives him a chance to make a play, and he does. You want to take, take the play by play on this? Yeah. Talking to me here. Get a yeah. touchdown yeah. call yeah. here. Touchdown yeah. call. Is it going to be the brotherly shove? I don't think so. Uh, it might be. Who's back? Yeah. It's all you. Go ahead. No, there. no don't Jenkins. put the pressure on me. <laughs> Jenkins, yep. They're going to try to push him forward. Second effort. Man. Panthers think they have a touchdown. Officials rushing in from each side. Just no. short, it looks like. No. Cannon just went off. Yeah, that's the tradition. Everyone's okay. Well, uh, <laughs> well, I don't know if the bubble ball... Yeah. Guys are okay though. That Looking is. bleak the start of that drive, huh? Really turned it around. It's a Ten point game here. Plenty yeah. of time to go. Ten and a half left in the third quarter. We'll take a break. Oh, hey, we're on the Welcome video board right now. That's you. All right. We get a shout out. That's nice. Welcome, Welcome home, home to Billy, Billy Gill. They say. I told him to say that. So if you win the Powerball, I, I really? get a portion of it. Well, yeah. here's the thing. Patrick has two children, so I'm more inclined to give him something than you. Wow. Oh, now, that's all right. Discriminating. Now, against. you know, I don't want to side with your parents here, but have some kids, AJ. <laughs> There's some incentive There's there for, in it for you. you. If I knew that was the criteria yeah. for receiving Powerball winnings, I would have been. 
over that a long time ago. <laughs> it's very nice of them to have a welcome home video message. If only they knew that I come to a lot of these games and just sit by myself in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> well, feel free to come to the booth if you feel a little lonely in that well, situation. I appreciate that. I'm actually trying to figure out where we're going to go for this bowl game. Huh? Am I invited to that? That would be great content. Okay. For one. That would be great content. You could have a whole week of, of social media content there. You're going to come, Patrick? To the Bahamas? I, mean, I think I'll be there. I'll be there. Especially if it's the Hula Bowl. We're all yeah. in on the Hula Bowl. We're all in on the Hula Bowl. I'm only going if Patrick's going, AJ. Those are my terms. <laughs> I think we can agree to these negotiations. We're, we're a package deal. Yeah. If Billy wins, he should create a Hula Bowl in Hawaii. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that is where it was. You know, I, I looked this up, so I need everyone to know. Yeah. Dan Marino was the MVP of the 1983 Hula Bowl. Wow. In Honolulu. Dropping I didn't know knowledge. that. Now I know it. Was it a bowl game at that time, or was it was, still an all-star game? It was uh, still an all-star game at that time. Okay. <laughs> Don Shula. Sh 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 Hula. Oh, I can't, I can't yes. I really, can't really pronounce the Hula. Shula. But it, I love the play on words there. Who's we will, we will hold that bowl game right here at the cage. Mm. That's going to be the newest bowl game. Um, I, I always enjoy the uh, the conversations on the show. Um, the, the day, well, it's only happened twice now, I guess. But the two times you've done the broadcast, yeah. you know, the... The analysis beforehand of how it's going to go, and you know, Stu Stugatz is always ragging you a little bit. I think, I think we should we should get Stugatz in here for a segment. Huh? You know, it's an open invitation, or the, get the shipping container on a rotation if they want to. Am I not good enough for you? No, I just want I want you to kind of rag on you a little bit. I want to stand up for our guy here. I get it. You don't like me. Oh my God, you did the, you pulled the same shtick. Last time. Did I? I was doing the polite goodbye. You were like, you don't want me in here anymore. I well, was like, well, I, I just don't want to force you to have to be here the whole game. I'm saying. So <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I get it. Like, I, don't, don't make me out to be that guy. Well, don't be that guy. <laughs> Joe Buck would never do such a thing. <laughs> you see what I've done? Then how I invited you the whole game. Yeah. Yeah. Are you regretting that yet? Absolutely not. No? no. Okay. This is Patrick. I'm not at all. Oh, I don't think Patrick likes me. <laughs> yeah, there's some tension brewing under the surface. <laughs> Hands off on first down, right up the middle. Oh, kind of looks like a horse collar for a second. Yeah, there. or a face mask. Nothing. No yeah. flag coming out of that. Tackle made by James Bodies don't Steele. naturally move that way. You asked. You just, you just posed the question. If I if I had any regrets of of this course of action. Yeah. Do you have any regrets? Not yet. Not yet. Well, I mean. The timeout situation from earlier and the uh, I think that's an easy flop thinking the 15 yards was going to be assessed after the return was not great I'm not going to lie about that it happens to the best of us hmm. They do have the Lamborghini on the field. They're showing it on the on the jumbotron right now on the video board Nice light blue Lamborghini. I can't actually see it though. still waiting for the celebration to evolve You can't do it when you're down 21 though, so I think they gotta wait till yeah. they take the lead to do it. If you're UTEP, you run over to one of those Lamborghinis, True. right? Like you need to agitate yeah. the crowd. That would add some insult to this. If How many chances away. do you have to celebrate with a Lamborghini or Rolls Royce? Approximately one. Yeah. Were you tailgating today? Did you get a good tailgate in? I did not. Did no. you? I always kind of want to. Yeah. I don't know if I. Well, Joe Buck does. Yeah, I know. Gotta be more like Joe. I actually haven't checked out the uh, the new tailgate situation that they it's have. Really, set it's up right there. outside the yeah. nice dorm here. The digs now, first and fifteen. And they give off to Hankins, who's been. Hankins, you're an Xbox guy. Oh, always. Yeah. Okay. It's I have a kind of a claim to fame with the Xbox. You do? Oh, yeah. What's that? Well, in 2007. I'm not, I'm not exaggerating. This is true. In 2007, I was number one in the world for one month on College Hoops 2K7 okay. with All JJ right. Redick on the cover. I mean, how many people played that game? It has not led to financial earnings. I thought you were going to say Madden. That was going to be impressive. You know, some game that was over. The kids of. played it. Second and 11 to the near side. Caught. Open field tackle missed. Man, Panthers giving up some yardage. Just tackles. It'll be much more manageable third down. So you were number one in the world playing college basketball on an Xbox? On Xbox 360. Huh. And what happened? How'd you lose that ranking? <laughs> Man, I wish it was in the era when you could make money, you know, playing video games. 
Just no one really cared and life moved on. You should have Twitch streamed it. Yeah. yeah. That was not a thing. Why didn't you think of it? Because that was not our era, gents. Mm. You played as Duke, right? I did, and my username was Duke Man. Duke Man. Duke Man 01. Hmm. Okay. That'll end the third quarter on that note. <laughs> Great transition here. 24 14, Panthers with work to do. I'm saying we got to go for this, but 15. it is the field goal unit that's coming out. Minor victory. And even with the field goal, remains a two-possession game. Panther right. victory, I should say. <laughs> AJ, it occurs to me that no one could verify that tall tale of yours. It would be the perfect lie. Wow, you don't have faith? My seventh grade video game skills? Uh, 33-yard field goal, right hash. Buzz has the kickoff. Buzz missed it. Ooh. Buzz missed it right. No good. He pushed it. Love this start to the fourth quarter. What do you expect to see here, Billy? I'm thinking. Okay. Let's get back to you. All right, you just let me know. One yard to gain. We might have run right up the middle here. Run right up the middle. Good yeah. thinking, Patrick. I, I go with that little tight end pop pass. Okay. Out of the gun. It's a pitch. Lawrence, far side, got the first down and shoved out at the 35. That's why we're up here. <laughs> yeah, Lawrence David Yo's making a good done. call there. You guys That's the first chances. time we've seen that tonight. Oh, flag on the play. Some laundry on the field, as they say, AJ. Yes, that is the term. And it's coming back. I am defeated inside. Holding on the offense. It's on Rocky. Hmm. Rocky Beers. It's a sobering sequence right there. Yeah, he was the guy out there trying to seal that edge. It looked like he sealed it pretty well, but I guess it was because he was holding. That'll do it. <laughs> what do you call it here, Duke Man 10? Duke Man 01. Oh, 01, sorry. Okay. Pardon. All right. And I call a pass play. Okay. All right, it's third and 11. So that's, uh, that's an expert analysis right there from me. There's the pass. Jenkins. Oh, he's facing pressure here. It manages to evade the sack. Who won the middle eight? Good question. I didn't, I, I didn't, I didn't end up keeping track of it. Wow. Uh, really I think... Had his body into that stat, and it's important. I'm looking into this no, right I, now. No, I know. I'm going to say UTEP won at 3 nothing. Okay. Go ahead and check it. I'll check. And are they going over the Lamborghini? They are. They are. They are. No, no. They are no, celebrating yeah. with the Lamborghini. No. Wow. Uh, they bided their time. I think that was probably the right time to, to do it. A, just a bad read there by Jenkins. I mean, he had Rivers open over the middle of the field and then a miscommunication with Mitchell. They run a lot of choice routes deep where the receiver and quarterback got to be on the same page. Are you going to run a go route? Are you going to run a stop route or a post? And Mitchell ran a stop, and Jenkins threw a go. What Taylor, is, Taylor's broken right now. Taylor, how are we doing back here? Going to make rent this month? or <laughs> Rent is on the line. <laughs> I, this is the only applicable way to make rent money. Uh, what are your emotions right now, Billy? Not your analysis. What are your emotions? You can't let that one defeat you, though, right? The defense has played well this half. That was a mistake. They turned the ball over, but you can't be giving up big plays like that. I mean, it's not over yet. No, it's, it's not still, over yet. It's, still, still, it's, still it's feeling it's, over for Taylor. It's, it's a little bit demoralizing for the defense. You yeah. keep getting these stops. They have to go right back on the field. I think you were right about uh, UTEP winning the middle eight there. Got a field goal with a min three left, and then FIU didn't score until 10-28 in the third. Yep. So UTEP won it three nothing. So odds are UTEP's gonna win the game. They need to stop here. Even if UTEP isn't able to score a touchdown on this drive, they tally a couple first downs. It takes significant time off the clock. Third and 12. 
10 point lead. Play fake. They got some go routes going on here. Deep down the near sideline into double coverage. Popped up in the air. Three players vying for the football. UTEP may have caught it. There's, there's two miners that wow. have it Not together. And Akari comes out with it. <laughs> You said it so confidently. I felt that good I about thought, that one. <laughs> I looked, thought you had willed it. It looked it like he intercepted it. I thought you had willed an interception. Watch the replay on Let's that. See. And then our I player is so they, frustrated they after that. He may have ripped said. it out of his arms. Adrian Coles played pretty well as safety tonight. He got back there, got underneath it, tipped it up. Definitely not intercepted. I don't and know then there was one was FIU player <laughs> and two UTEP players. They, we're in a pile on you top of the ball. You said it with so much confidence. I believed we had intercepted it. And then our, and then UTEP is celebrating. First down. Maybe they were happy for us. Burgess sprinting to the side. It's nice. Right? That play was a roller coaster of emotions right there. It looked like it was going to be a pick initially. It looked like it was going to be a pick on the ground. And UTEP makes the catch. Second five. Gonna need to hold UTEP to a field goal here. Panthers just have to use their first timeout. Ten men on the field. Burgess remains the tailback for UTEP. You need 11. That, for the novices. Uh, yeah. Hey, 50% of the people don't, don't know the rules. That's, the, that's what they teach you. McDonald gives it to Burgess. All right, partner, what are you... Uh, what have you learned tonight? What do you what do you think what do you think you'll improve on on the second broadcast if, if there is one for you? What have you learned? If there is one. If you want to come back. I learned that I should keep the microphone in front of my mouth that's, when that's I'm speaking important. to you. Yeah, oh. add that a little low. <laughs> what are your tips? What pointers? What things should I work on? What do you guys think? Patrick, I respect you more than AJ. What do you think I should do? <laughs> I think we need to let you take the play-by-play -play a little bit. Do you? I, I yeah. tried to get him in on I, I think yeah. we need to let him get a touchdown call. Well, yeah, what happened in that in that moment? We were at the one-yard line. I kind of know my uh, my limitations at this point, you know, so I don't want to fly too close to the sun right away. You know, don't be Icarus. Mm-hmm. the Cody catchphrases we can well don't, let's not here. let's not change the subject the people were wondering how many senior frogs you've been to <laughs> Jenkins backpedaling tough throw it probably works out better in the end so more time doesn't come off the clock uh just two okay just Nassau and uh stepped into South Beach one I don't know where are the other ones I don't know I don't know the other senior frogs then I'm I went there once okay and there was a lot of energy Patrick have you ever been I've never been. Oh. I've, I've heard of the one in Nassau. I've yes. heard stories, but there, yeah. good never stories, been. bad stories, good stories, stories from AJ. Or? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't no, know. I don't go into detail. I don't kiss and tell. No, second and ten. <laughs> Billy, this is this has been fun. We uh, we got to delve into a little bit more. I was listening back to our 2019 segment. Really? Day. Yeah. What the, did we uh, talk about against? against UTEP in the in the ESPN Plus booth. Uh, we talked about Chili's. Chili's? We talked about the renovated Chili's in the okay. FIU dining hall. Okay. We talked do about have, whooping uh, cough. Do they have the lava cakes? Yes, they do. Oh, yes. They do. Yeah, that is terrific dessert there at Chili's. We talked about whooping cough. We talked about whooping cough. We talked about pole how, vaulting. How did whooping cough come up? Seems like something you would have brought up. I think he, one of us talked about how we were sick or had a sickness. Okay. And then I brought up, he might have said you have pneumonia or something as a child. So I said I had whooping cough. Well, I had pneumonia as a child? I, I don't know what brought up the sickness <laughs> talk. Huh. Didn't you just watch it back? Second I don't want to memorize. We talked about, well, I, I tried to give you props for your ninth place Sunbelt oh, championship performance yeah. in the pole vault. Trying yeah. to hype you up. You're hype man. And then you were like, well, there were 12 people. <laughs> I think I may have only. It's like it's impressive to be ninth. This carry to the far side. 
no gain on the play for UTEP. I think I only beat one person that was competing. Nobody else has that. to know that. Yeah. Well, you were one place from scoring at the, at the Fun top Belt 10. Championship. Top 10. Top 10. That's true. That's all that matters. That, that would make the all-conference team on football. First team all-conference, yes. right? I'll take it. 13, 14 feet, right? Uh, I did, I think, 14-2. 14-2. Not impressive for college. See, I, I'm with you. Like, I can do 20 pull-ups. I did 20 pull-ups today. New personal record. 20? Yeah. That's okay. Wildly impressive, Patrick, actually. Why uh, Why did you do that today? <laughs> just, just felt inclined <laughs> just, to yeah, talk about I was, at, I was at the gym. Set a PR. And usually I do pull-ups uh, once a week. Watch out. Hold on. One second so for Buzz here. 47 yards. Buzz. Line drive. No good. He missed, missed again. It again. He missed again. Yeah, FIU still keeps hanging around. They won't. They won't die. And the kick is no good. <laughs> What's up, Mike B? Michael Biamonte says hello. By the way, he told me to tell you. Really? That. Okay. <laughs> tell him I say hi back. I was thinking about it, but what would be the point of not saying hi back? You know? Yeah. Be, be so, polite. Back to Patrick's pull-ups. 20, 20 is difficult here. Yeah, you do you do pull-ups once a week. Put yeah. it on the pole. Yeah, pretty much. Is it is it is normal it? to be able to do 20 push-ups, 20 sit-ups, 20 pull-ups? Um, I'm, I'm losing. Are you here. okay? What's I'm going on here? I think it's above average to do 20 pull-ups. Yeah. Put it on the pole. Do you do the assisted pull-ups with like the uh, the machine that helps like with your legs? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But wow, you don't believe. You don't believe I'm no, number I mean, one in the world at 2K for well, a month? I, you don't I, believe he could do 20 pull-ups unassisted? I think I did them at one time. I Carlson on second and 20. Scrambles left, plants the feet, ball batted into the air at the line of scrimmage and incomplete. He just looked uncomfortable in the pocket. This is Kenny Bird got a hand on that one. Yeah, thank you, John, for the information. <laughs> a shout out, John. 500th broadcast. That's awesome. Roy Myers, Hall of Famer. What Hall of Fame? Uh, I, don't know, I think. You just say that about yeah, someone. Oh, well, there was one. He went right. to New York City for an induction in 2019, I think. I forget. I think some football writers. I'm not he got an award he from the curious. the National Football Foundation. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was complete to the far sideline to get past the original That's line of scrimmage. Actually, going to be a not fourth and off, manageable here. Fourth and five. 118 left in the game. And if uh, UTEP makes the stop here, they can just take a knee following, which was something not done in Miami last Saturday. Mm. Carlson to pass. Slant route. Oh! Bracey dropped it off the chest. Would have been a first down. Contested play in traffic, and that. Now it seems really unlikely that a comeback will be happening. It is mathematically not happening anymore. And that's the kind of night it's been for FIU. That How old would you be to get to 500 games called? Well, that's 75 in sixth year, seventh year. So it's a 75, 150, 300. Or take like that. I think he's in his 43rd, 44th year. Yeah. Yeah. So 43, 44 years from now. Depending on how many bowl games are made, you know. 74, you think you're going to get there? Not to be grim, just curious. I mean, you're in good shape. You run. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Yeah. We'll have you along for the UTEP game every year, huh? If you keep it going. Yeah. You got, you got two of the past Killing four. It with those, yeah. Two of the past four. UTEP takes the knee, and that'll do it here from Miami. <laughs> Tough loss for FIU today. 27-14, our final. Let's just start out overall. Macro, what are your impressions of the game today? Obviously, the, the offense from UTEP stood out in that first quarter, but uh, just to take to take me through your mind. What's uh, your, What are your impressions? I think it was a surprising outcome, right? I mean, they have their fourth-string quarterback in there, 1-5. You're not expecting very much. No, you're not. A lot of 
lot of good vibes here from FIU. They have Vice Night, they have the field painted, they have the cars on the field, they have the new uniforms. Spirits were high, and uh, they just got out to such a slow start. They just couldn't kind of ever make up for it. Yeah, offense uh, was absent for, for much of that game. Part, uh, Patrick, the, the offense has had its struggles over the last couple of games. Billy, did you get any in-game feedback from friends or family on uh, on the broadcast? Is it the first? Did you ever do a broadcast at Berlin or FIU? Uh, like, what was? Uh, I is, did. is this the first one? Like full game? Football? Yes. I yeah. mean, I've done baseball a couple times. Okay. Uh, the feedback is never positive <laughs> when it's when it's going on. It's just people kind of. We're here for you if you need to talk. Just coming and uh, pouncing on my mistakes. Right. And then clipping those things and putting them out there for the world to see. And I imagine a lot of that will happen at work tomorrow as well. Yes. So. You know, I guess I played my part of the clown today. <laughs> Everyone's you were brave. I think you exhibited great bravery. Thank you. Put you. on the headset through the, the power prep and cramming. Um, unfortunately, could provide more, uh, more offensive highlights over the over the course of this one. Uh, you, you said, you know, you had some trepidation if you were going to get the invite back. Yeah. Uh, I, th I think we would love to have you wow. for another broadcast. Yeah, come on I, back. I feel so, like, I, you know, I, I don't want you to be bored here for not scoring touchdowns or anything. I hope you're enjoying the Billy in the Booth experience. No, it was great. Yeah. Barrel of laughs. <laughs> we learned about Duke Man 01. We learned that, yeah. I, you know, I'm still going to try to convince you on that. You know, I've, I've never really taken pride in it. I don't care. But now I feel the need to defend it. Why? Because you don't you believe it. You don't no, believe why it. Why are you not proud of it? Oh, I mean, it was a seventh. It was 2005. <laughs> it was seventh grade playing way too much Xbox. Let's normalize being proud of our accomplishments. Patrick's Patrick did 20 pull-ups today. He did 20 pull-ups yeah. today. Yeah. That is significant. Yeah. yeah. Let's be proud. <laughs> you sore at all? You just, just another day in the uh, I'm, day I'm okay right now. We'll, we'll, see, okay. we'll see tomorrow. I'm going to do 20. It's always the day after that hits you. I'll get you. I recently signed up for a lifetime membership. Of what? The lifetime gym. <laughs> oh. And then I uh, I recently canceled it. <laughs> well, so not a lifetime I wasn't go I wasn't going enough to justify it. At least expense. you canceled it. Most of the time, it did. Did you forget it about it? Why did you cancel there? it? I just wasn't going enough. How long did you have it for? A month. I mean. I thought I was going to use the treadmill a lot there. I thought I was going to use the pool. I thought I was going to use the, the sauna and the, the cold plunge. And I used it like twice in a month. So this is not something I need right now. You're lacking motivation? What was it? No, I'm doing my runs outside. Huh. Don't need the treadmill. It's hot outside. God, it's getting nice now. Fall in Miami. You should, you should go on some runs. We should, we should, okay, you should go on some runs. Okay. <laughs> All right. Patrick comes, I'm, we'll do it. I'm, but I don't know. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm, not, I'm doing any running. Patrick, we can pack run. Nah, I'm not a runner. Okay. Thank you. All right. I sent the offer out. It's, <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. How long would this run be? Let's do 20 minutes. Let's, okay. Let's I mean, do a uh, con conversational pace. Let's do minutes, a half mile. 20 I'm good minutes for a half use mile. Five run. miles. <laughs> I would get three in. I'd be three. But I would, I would slow my pace down. One. It's not. It's not tactful to invite people on a run and then just like try to go faster. I'm not one of those people. We'd be holding you back, and that's no, the last thing no, that would. Patrick and I want to do is no, hold you back. No, that's we want very to see selfless. You soar. Soar with the Fly. eagles. Bald eagles. Bald eagles. Yeah. America. We'll sit on the sidelines with their stopwatches. Yeah. Timing. yeah. You'd be my coach. Yeah. You guys could be my coaches. Well, we'll drive the golf cart behind you. Ooh, this I like that. Taking a tangent that FIU football fans don't care about. 27 <laughs> 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 14, our, our final score. Billy, your final thoughts. What's on your mind? T take us through it. Appreciate your time. Final thoughts here from my. Final mind. thoughts on the game? Yeah. Uh, the game, the broadcast, whatever you think. I feel like things went well. Well the broadcast not yes. on the field no not field on the field it wasn't great that could have gone better bit of an uphill battle to make a bowl game this year but not impossible have to have to wait i'm soon. trying to be positive here aj you're kind of bringing Rule the bowl down. cure bowl still realistic the cure bowl reps were here today i saw their their well, nameplate that's not the best we didn't have the best yeah, show for them we didn't make the best first impression no but still they'll, a chance. they're gonna keep their eye on us just gotta get better all the bowls say. <laughs> Tease us. What are your final thoughts? Patrick, what are your final thoughts? Oh, what are you?